Dodge 1500. The issue that I'm having with this Dodge 1500 is the temperature is running a little bit high. Uh, running temperature is about 245, so that's, I think, a little too much. Um, it's not that bad. You know, it doesn't never gets up to the uh, the limit of the 260. The thermostat is located uh, down here from the radiator hose, and it's it's down it's down there. So I would have to take the air filter housing off. Next thing I have to do is loosen this band clamp here with the screwdriver. Okay, so you gotta lift lift up the air cleaner, get it off of this post here, and then uh, there's a hose back here. You gotta remove this hose also. Okay. Since there's some uh, ground electrical connections here, there's some grounding here, and take off the from the battery. Uh, the ground Okay, loosen the screw nut there took the ground off just to make sure uh, There's not going to be any short circuits and damage the electrical system also before I take loosen up the coolant hoses I'm going to Drain some of the coolant from the radiator there's a knob here that I'm going to turn and release some of the coolant. I turn the knob below there. Knob doesn't come out completely so it just loosens up um, and some of the coolant came out but what I have to do is get the air lock removed and so I have to open that up. And now it's flowing. Next step is I'm going to take off this bracket. Uh, I've got a socket here. There's two screws. One here. And there's another one there. And underneath there's another one here. And I ha also I have to take this screw off also. I In order to take this bracket off I have to get this other bracket off. And so re I remove the screw. And I have to like bend this thing back and uh, kind of work it out. So as you can see, there's another bolt down here that I have to take off. Turns out this bolt is on there pretty tight. Uh, it's a steel bolt uh, going into like aluminum, so uh, it's pretty tight there. But it's coming off. It's a long bolt. So now I'm going to remove the rubber hose. So as you can see, I took the hose off and I put it over there. Uh, but since the thermostat is closed, it's not allowing the fluid to go back into the engine block. So I'm going to have to get that fluid out of there and I don't want to make a mess around the engine, front of the engine here, so I'm gonna utilize this this item here which will um, it's like a, for a, like a vacuum creates a vacuum, well you can use like a turkey baster or something to get that fluid out of there and uh, I'm gonna stick this stick this in there and uh, create a vacuum by pumping this and pump it out. There we go. You gotta be careful on loosening these. Because you don't want to strip it. Oh, I'm lucky. It's coming off okay now. Let's get the other side. Oh, oh it's coming.
coming off. No Here's problem. the thermostat housing, and I have to clean this up. And there was a gasket on here. I have to clean that off also, and I've got to make this completely smooth when I put the new gasket on. If I don't, this will leak. I'll be using a combination of a razor blade and carefully scrape off carefully scrape off the debris on here and then finally uh, I've got the air angle grinder this is like a uh, abrasive pad um, plastic fibers you can see the thermostat down there I gotta get a crowbar finally with this and to loosen this up it was stuck on there pretty good so I stuffed a rag into the engine block there so we don't have debris coming in as it turns out I'm not able to clean off that uh, thermostat mounting surface sufficiently I want to get that uh, really cleaned up so Unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, take this c compressor off and move it over here this way. I'll show you. I'm going to take the compressor off. Looks like there's about six bolts here, here. There's one there, there's one there, and there's another one there. Uh, five or six bolts uh, I've got to remove. And then I'm going to swing this whole unit back this way compressor off and uh, the tensioners pretty tight so sort of use this as leverage to uh, move the belt adjuster back just gonna take it off of the alternator And take it off the compressor and just lay it down there. Okay, the problem I'm having here, uh, it's a half inch uh, nut. But as you can see, this pipe uh, from the condenser, air conditioning condenser, is blocking it. So I took out the other bolts and so I, I'm able to swing this around. And this is, uh, you know, I can pry this apart just slightly in order to get access to this and now I could uh, take take this bolt off also okay so now I took out off the bolts here's the connector to the compressor if you have this style of connector uh, you just need a screwdriver here and go underneath this part right here the second uh, electrical connection is right here. You got to take this one off too. Okay, so I've got the electrical connector off, and so you got to lift this up, and it's kind of heavy. It's hard to do it with one hand, but I'm going to swing this over here. Okay, so I was able to clean it off. Taking that compressor off definitely helped. I was able to use my angle grinder and it took off the old gasket really well so I'm well, set. I cleaned up the housing here with the angle grinder and it did a really great job of cleaning this up. Put the new thermostat in. Now I'm going to put the gasket on and there is a sticky peels off take this off too the sticky side you have to put it on the housing uh, don't ever put this onto the engine block 
because you have a di the next person who has to, you know, replace the thermostat or what have you, is going to have a very difficult time getting this gasket off. It's not on the engine block. <clears throat> when I put the housing in, I've got to make sure I put this. It says front up here, so this tab here has to go into the front rather than like that. So place this in this way. I'll take the rag out. So the two 13 millimeter bolts, I'll torque it to 18 pounds. I'll take the air conditioner compressor and we'll swing it back uh, and put it back into place and bolt it in. Okay, there's two connectors that we have to put, put back on. Uh, one is right here. Okay, we got five bolts, uh, one right here. Another one right here, two on the back here, and you've got to put this plate on to attach it to the uh, valve covers. Tightened all these bolts. These are 13 millimeter bolts. So we will we'll torque it down to about 30 pounds. The radiator coolant return hose I'll put back. The hose is all the way down and now I'm going to tighten up the band here. Okay, put this bracket back on. There's two bolts holding the alternate, uh, the top of the alternator to the top of the valve cover. Two bolts. Uh, this is 9 sixteenths. Torque it to uh, 30 pounds. On top of this, after I torqued it, I put the alternator ground on here. There's a, a ground here wire that I also have to put on uh, this post right here. So there's two two grounds that you can and then on top of that I put this bracket to hold these two air conditioning hoses. Fold this down Tightened it with the socket, and then we'll put a small screw that goes into this hole. It just taps right in there. So now I'm going to put the serpentine belt back on. There we go. Uh, there's just only a couple places where I need to loop it over. Use a 15 millimeter. Uh, wrench and put it onto this uh, pulley tensioner and uh, then I move that over and I used a a um, this bar to help scoot it over and it moves it over okay I got the serpentine belt on I'm gonna reinstall the air filter box gotta make sure the uh, bottom of the box fits on this bung hole here on that post. Attach this hose. And on this back clamp, we've got to uh, turn the screw on to fasten it properly. So I attached the battery terminals back on. And I will tighten up the 
nuts on this. I'll be reusing my coolant. It's fairly fresh coolant. I know that was in the car. I'm going to f utilize these filters. I've got a bunch of these paint filters and uh, that should do the trick filtering out the debris. I'm going to take this truck on a test drive and get it up to running temperature and, and check for leaks. Okay, so I was running on the surface streets and also the freeway. The temperature is a little bit higher than what is normal, but uh, about 225, which is not too bad. Uh, it was running about, I would say, maybe about 240 before. So 225 is not so bad. Uh, I can I can live with that. It's hard to see in there, but uh, I did check, and the thermostat housing looks uh, looks dry. So we're in good shape.